1977 is inscribed in the annals of rock history as the year punk exploded. Germany's quieter Kosmische music revolution had begun a decade earlier, but wouldn't reach its apex until that same spring, with the release of Kraftwerk's Trans-Europe Express, a krautrock masterpiece that practically invented synth-pop and would become a crucial ingredient in early hip-hop. After forming, Kraftwerk spent years shifting lineups and sounds before settling on an electronic aesthetic critics dubbed industrial folk music. Co-founders Ralph Hutter and Florian Schneider pioneered the style on their essential fourth album, 1974's Autobahn. By the time they started recording Trans-Europe Express in 1976, they'd enlisted percussionists Wolfgang Fleur and Carl Bartos to complete the band's classic lineup, release their first all-electronic LP, Radioactivity, and gained global renown as David Bowie's favorite group. Trans-Europe Express nodded to Kraftwerk's newfound fame with showroom dummies and the Hall of Mirrors, two deadpan deconstructions of celebrity and artifice that reflected the once ascetic ensemble's sudden taste for excess. Around the same time they started recording the album, Schneider developed a taste for luxury cars, and the band could often be found partying with an entourage in Dusseldorf. Even the greatest stars find their face in the looking glass. But Trans Europe Express was mostly a revisionist fantasy of Europe's history and future, unmarred by the atrocities of World War II. The propulsive title track approximates a speeding locomotive. Bartos later recalled that, while writing, Hutter and Schneider went to train bridges and were listening to the sound a train would actually produce. In a promo video for the song, Kraftwerk cut glamorous figures, riding a train in Weimar cabaret makeup. The music of Trans-Europe Express, concocted at Kraftwerk's legendary laboratory, Kling Klong Studio, signifying the continent's high-tech future. The orchestron keyboard floods the opening epic, Europe Endless, with choral harmonies that sound heavenly and synthetic at once. A new synth enormous sequencer enabled the band to pile on dance beats. Hutter's vocoded vocals give the odd impression of an automaton pining for traditional European elegance and decadence. Trans-Europe Express had an immediate impact on both sides of the Atlantic, influencing artists as different as Joy Division, Donna Summer, and Gary Newman. Africa Bombada and the Soul Sonic Force wove the title track's eerie synth melody into Planet Rock, the first of many hip-hop classics to quote Kraftwerk. Decades later, Bombada recalled that the first time he heard their music, I thought, this is some serious stuff for the future. Trans Europe Express Kraftwerk's golden era stretched on after Trans-Europe Express, with 1978's The Man Machine and Computer World from 1981. Although they haven't put out a studio album since 2003's Tour de France soundtracks, Hutter and a trio of later recruits still tour as Kraftwerk, and 40 years after its release, Trans-Europe Express is a staple of just about every show. Trans-Europe Express